Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, there was much talk today about the new space era and its uh, synergy with other areas at the forefront of research. In this talk, we outline a flagship project of Tel Aviv University to perform orbit to ground quantum transmission using a nanosatellite platform. And this ambitious mission takes uh, advantage of advances in new space science and technology to design a miniature satellite bus as well as a quantum payload that will be integrated within a 12 liter spacecraft platform. Tel Aviv University has its own center for building nanosatellites. The center has facilities for integration and environmental testing, as well as a mission control center with capabilities to command and control the satellites and download data from space. Now, uh, what is a uh, quantum key distribution or QKD for short? It is a secure communication method for exchanging encryption keys between shared parties, Alice and Bob. Quantum communication involves sending information using quantum states, qubits, usually the polarization state of a photon. And qubits follow the laws of quantum mechanics that prohibit cloning of states. So QKD takes advantage of the fact that simply observing a quantum state causes it to collapse in an irreparable way. And this uh, essentially means that uh, the interception of qubits by an eavesdropper will cause errors in the sequence of data exchange. So by checking uh, for the presence of such errors, the two parties can verify whether an eavesdropper was able to obtain information on their key. And this feature provides unconditional security for, commu for communication and also resilience uh, from any future advances in the hacking of systems, which can be displayed, for example, by uh, quantum uh, computers. It is uh, worth noting that a fiber-based QKD cannot operate at distances of more than 200 kilometers due to fiber attenuation. And uh, optical transmission in the atmosphere is another option, but limited line of sight due to the curvature of Earth, as well as the density of the atmosphere, again, limits uh, its range. So uh, satellite-based QKD, where the quantum signal travel mostly through vacuum, is the only practical solution for establishing a global quantum network. Now, Tel Aviv University seeks to launch a quantum nanosatellite prototype with compatible optical ground stations for a global constellation. Nanosatellites have the benefits of lower costs, shorter development times with fast and multiple deployment opportunities. We are also building an optical ground station that will implement the receiver module, which includes a telescope with all the optical elements required to receive and detect a quantum signal. And the optical station would use uh, orbital data to initialize the locking on the satellite and then send uh, range finding laser pulses to the satellite. And these pulses can be reflected back by retro reflectors mounted on the satellite, which makes it possible to accurately determine the distance and direction of the satellite. Now, uh, the major hurdles to overcome are, first of all, the extremely high pointing accuracy required to minimize the link loss over hundreds of kilometers as well as achieving high timing accuracy in synchronizing between the satellite and the ground station. Another problem uh, is the need to physically minimize the complex uh, optical and quantum systems, as well as providing resistance to space environment to the miniaturized system. And to achieve all this while obtaining a link margin that enables the transfer of identifiable quantum signal above the noise level. So uh, the complexity of the project stems, uh, among other things, from being interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary in nature that combines a large number of scientific disciplines. And that includes quantum mechanics and photonics, but also algorithms in communication and information theory, 
uh, satellite control, energy generation, chemical or electric propulsion, mechanical and thermodynamical design to withstand the, the vibrations uh, of the launch and the hostile space environment. And uh, like any other uh, highly technological project, space platforms are software intensive and designing a lean and robust flight operating system is a speciality in itself. On the other hand, the variety of research areas allows students and researchers from different faculties to choose a topic that is close to their hearts and carry out research work in that field. The project teaches students how to persevere in a uh, multi-teamwork uh, environment and collaborate uh, for a common goal that depends on each of its part. And uh, the field of space also provides uh, the mythological basis for research, uh, as it is an exciting field that magnetizes students to engage in science and technology uh, at the highest level. In all our space projects, Tel Aviv University also involves high school students, uh, kids who do not have a formal engineering education nor understanding of the project at the systems level, but, but they are still very, very good at solving narrow mathematical problems. In fact, the, the nanosatellite era in Israel has started in the education system even before it reached academia with the launch of Dukifat-1, Israel's first nanosatellite and the first operational satellite in the world ever built by high school students. Dukifet-1 orbited for five years uh, in, uh, in space, while all its systems functioned flawlessly. We then took part in the EU Cube 50 uh, constellation, measuring uh, a plasma density in the lower thermosphere with uh, uh, Dukifet-2 uh, that also operated nicely for 19 months before re-entering the atmosphere. The next uh, evolutionary step uh, was a 3U nanosatellite carrying a camera on board for Earth, Earth uh, monitoring. Uh, this one was launched from India at the end of 2019. And in February last year, we launched TauSat-1, uh, a CubeSat for monitoring radiation and heavy particles in orbit. Now, with regard to the, the QKD satellite, we now have two uh, nanosatellite projects that will serve as risk reduction precursors for the quantum uh, nanosat. In June this year, we will launch TAUSAT-2 with an LED payload for calibrating and for testing our optical ground station. The next step is a swarm of eight nanosatellites, each carrying retro reflectors. In fact, these eight are already, already in orbit, launched on board a Falcon 9 launcher two weeks ago. And the swarm could also be used to simulate a single photon source in space by controlling the intensity of the laser sent from the ground and reflected back as a series of individual photons. And this experiment will serve to speed up the development of the ground detectors and the precision uh, tracking system, and finally uh, leading to the launch of Tel Aviv University a uh, quantum satellite named Quantau in 20, uh, for, uh, 2024. So uh, this is it. I will stop here and thank you all for listening.